In this section, we're going to look at some basic operations on sets. We're going to look specifically at the union of two sets and also the intersection of two sets. So let's start with the definition. So the union of two sets is going to be denoted with the symbol U. So if we're talking about the union of two sets, if our sets are A and B, you would see something written like this, A union B. Now what this means is to merge the two sets together, to add the two sets together, and you want to keep in mind that you don't want any repeats in your union set. For example, if we have set A that has 2, 3, and 4, and set B that has the elements 4, 5, and 6, if I union the two sets together, meaning that you want to merge the two sets. So I'm going to write down everything that's in A, and then I'm going to write down everything that's in B. So here's set A, here's set B. I've put them together in the same set. Now the only thing I want to check for is I don't want any repeats. So the fact that there are two fours, I'm going to come in and erase one of those fours. And when I do that, now that I have taken care of the duplicates, I have A union B. So that set contains the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So for an intersection of two sets, we're going to use a different symbol. We're going to use this symbol. So if you see a problem for an intersection, it's going to look like this. A intersect B. And the intersection of the two sets is simply the elements that the sets have in common. So again, if we have set A that's 2, 3, and 4, and we have set B which is 4, 5, and 6, you want to look for an element or more than one element that they have in common. So in this case, both sets have the element 4. And so that is the only element that they have in common. So the intersection is going to contain only that element 4. So we want to look at a few examples. We're first going to look at some examples with union. So remember that union means to merge the sets together. So for A union B, I'm going to begin by listing out everything that is in set A. So I'm simply going to copy down the elements that are in set A. So 8, 6, 7, 5, 3, 0, or 0, and 9. And now I'm unioning it with set B, so I'm now going to copy down the elements in B. So 3, 7, 11, and 15. So now I'm going to look and see if there are any elements that have been repeated, and if there are, I'm going to erase one of those. So I can see that I have two threes. I also have two sevens. And that's it. So now I have my set A union B. Again, merge the sets and don't put any duplicates. All right, let's try A union C. So again, I'm going to begin by listing out set A. And now I'm going to list set C next to it. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Now I'm going to look for duplicates. So I see that I have two eights, so I'll get rid of one of the eights. I see that I have two sixes, so I'll get rid of one of the sixes. And I'm looking to see if there's anything else that's a duplicate, and I don't believe that there is. So now we have A union C. All right, our final example is asking for B union C. So I'm going to write down B 
3, 7, 11, and 15. And right next to it, I'm going to write down C, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And again, I'm going to look for any duplicates. I do not believe that there's anything that is duplicated between these two sets. And so now I have found B union C. We're now going to look at the same three examples, but with intersections. Remember, intersections mean that we're going to write down the elements that the two sets have in common. So I'm going to begin with A intersect B. So I'm looking at these two sets, and I'm looking for any element that the two sets have in common. So I can see that they both have a 7, and they both have a 3. So the intersection will have those two elements, 7 and 3. We'll now intersect A and C. So here's A, and here's C. And we're looking again for the elements that the two sets have in common. So they both have a 6, and they both have the 8. And that appears to be all. And so now we have the intersection of those two sets having the elements 6 and 8. And finally, we're going to intersect B and C. So we're looking at these two sets. And it does not appear that these two sets have any elements in common. And so my intersection is simply going to have the empty set, since there are no elements in common. All right, so let's try one other example. This example, we're going to have letters. If you note, the universal set has all the letters from A to Z. Set A has the letters in the word grateful, and set B has the letters in the word travels. So our first problem asks us to union sets A and B. So again, remember that union means to merge the two sets together. So I'm going to write down set A, and then I'm going to write down set B. And I'm going to try to do it this time without duplicating anything. So as I look at set B, I know that I already have a T in my set, so I'm not going to write that again. I already have an R in my set. The A, I already have an A in my set. The V, I still need the V. I have the E already right here. I have the L already, and I still need the S. So now I've merged the two sets, and I don't have any duplicates. For my last problem, it's asking me to intersect A and B. So I'm looking at these two sets, and I'm going to write down the things that the two sets have in common. So they both have an A. They both have an E. They both have an R. They both have an L. And they both have a T. And so now I have the intersection of the two sets.